Hi, I'm Jan Rasmussen, author of the national award-winning book, Scared Poopless, The Straight Scoop on Dog Care. Please check my credentials before evaluating my advice. Now for some scary truths. Most of us presume that government and veterinary organizations diligently monitor and regulate pet vaccination. But they don't. We presume that impartial immunology experts decide what shots pets should get and when they should get them. Wrong again. Vaccination is a serious medical procedure with significant risks, yet countless vets fail to consider each individual pet's health, lifestyle, age, and locality. Why does this matter? Even in healthy dogs, vaccines can cause cancer, skin disorders, autoimmune disease, allergies, behavioral problems, seizures, major organ disease, and even death. Never vaccinate without proven need. Many vets have switched to vaccinating every three years rather than yearly, but that's still too often. Three years is a compromise to make change more psychologically comfortable and to limit loss of vaccination income. It has little to do with what's best for dogs. Vaccine makers and way too many vets recommend revaccinating adult dogs yearly against the two most important diseases, parvovirus and distemper. Here's the shocker. These vaccines are known to give five to seven years, maybe even a lifetime of immunity, and you can test to make sure. Vaccine labels state administer to healthy animals, but healthy is not defined. As a result, many vets vaccinate sick pets, pets undergoing surgery, housebound geriatric pets, and pets with severe allergies, autoimmune diseases, and even terminal cancer, further damaging their fragile immune systems. Vets seldom fully disclose to clients the possible adverse reactions, common and uncommon, to each vaccine they recommend. They rarely disclose how long vaccine immunity really lasts or offer alternatives to vaccination. This violates the legal doctrine of informed consent. You must insist on being well informed. Deny consent when you're not. Do you know that vaccine doses are not size or age specific? Chihuahua puppies and adult Great Danes get the same size dose. For an adult dog, there's really no such thing as being up to date with shots. Only the rabies shot must be given on schedule. Vaccination notices are a marketing tool used to get you into the vet's office. Do go for the important yearly checkup and blood test. Go twice yearly for aging pets, but don't vaccinate or buy meds without proven need. Local public health officials, not impartial immunology experts, decide when your dog gets a rabies shot. While most areas have switched to three years between rabies shots, too many have not. Ignorance abounds, change takes effort, and yearly shots bring in big revenues for localities and vets. Dog health is not the priority. Rabies vaccines guarantee either one or three years of immunity. The one-year shot is similar or identical to the three-year shot and can even be the three-year shot relabeled. Nevertheless, shots labeled one year must be given annually. The one-year shot is not considered safer than the three-year shot and may even cause more adverse reactions because it's given more often. At 14 years of age, a dog vaccinated yearly would have had eight shots not required in most areas. This is dangerous for dogs and costly to pet parents. The United States government protects vaccine manufacturers from liability related to damage caused by vaccines and vaccine additives for both people and animals. Reporting of adverse reactions by vaccine manufacturers, vets, and pet parents is strictly voluntary. Only a tiny percentage of reactions are ever reported, and the USDA admits they lack sufficient funds for follow-up. Both the 2003 and 2006 American Animal Hospital Association Canine Vaccine Task Force reports repeatedly urged vets to report adverse reactions, explaining at great length how and why they should, something you'd think vets would know but must not. Reporting takes time and presumes vets and others actually recognize adverse reactions, both common and uncommon, which too many do not. 
Do you know who performs the only testing of a vaccine's safety? The drug's manufacturer. Except for the rabies vaccine, which is tested to make sure it gives immunity for one and three years, vaccines are tested for just one year prior to licensing. No long-term testing for safety is done. Combo shots, called names like DHLPPC or 7-Way, combined multiple dissimilar vaccines, some giving short immunity, some long. Why use them? They're convenient and cheap. Why avoid them? Combos have well-known adverse health consequences and have to be repeated too often. I say, don't use them. Leptospirosis, Bordetella, coronavirus, and Lyme vaccines Shots with numerous well-known adverse side effects and low rates of effectiveness are given to millions of dogs with little or no chance of contracting these diseases or of being protected by the shot. A simple blood test called a titer test, not repeated vaccination, is the safest way to determine if your dog, four months or older, is protected against the most important diseases, parvovirus and distemper. Ask your vet about testing before revaccinating. Many experts believe strong titers show lifetime immunity. Please don't vaccinate without learning all the facts and don't take advice from non-experts. Recommendations have changed recently and differ from dog to dog. Always be wary of advice from anyone profiting from your vaccination decisions. Protect your dog. Learn more at www.dogsfordogs.com slash shots.